indeed capable of problem. Develop a vehicle capable of landing two astronauts on the moon and returning them safely to their orbiting spacecraft. Solution, lunar module. This vehicle, designed and built to attain the major objective of the Apollo program, is the first manned spacecraft developed solely for use in outer space. From initial design by NASA engineers to overall completion by industrial craftsmen, it has taken five years to produce the lunar module. After initial checkouts of the lunar module were made at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, Florida, the two-stage vehicle was placed inside the spacecraft limb adapter and hoisted atop the launch vehicle in preparation for the upcoming Apollo 5 mission. There will be no Apollo command module aboard this flight. Instead, a nose cone designed for aerodynamic stability will take its place directly above the LAM adapter. All that remains is its first test in space. This will come in a few days when the uprated Saturn I hurls the unmanned lunar module into Earth orbit. During the first revolution, signals returning from the spacecraft keep the ground controllers in Mission Control Center up to date on such events as nose cone jettison, opening of the adapter panels, and the tricky maneuver of moving the lunar module from its metal enclosure out into space. After the lunar module emerges from its metal cocoon, it will transmit signals back to Earth to verify that it is performing properly. During the third revolution, the descent propulsion system will be fired for the first time to test its capabilities in a lunar landing mission. A half hour later, the second descent stage firing will take place. The firing will terminate with a highly critical maneuver called the fire in the hole abort. This test involves a simultaneous shutdown and separation of the descent stage and firing of the ascent engine. The abort would be necessary in the event Apollo astronauts were unable to land on the lunar surface and had to fire up the ascent stage to carry them back to their orbiting spacecraft. During the fourth revolution, a second burn will simulate a flight path similar 